Hi guys, Alan Moore on the second video of the this weekend. We've got two tobacco fragrances guys on this video. And then we're doing a comparison on the two video the two fragrances, sorry. Uh, and so on this video. So if this is what you're interested in, two tobacco fragrances, very affordable but give you massive projection and power as well. So if you're interested in that to be after the intro guys i'll see you in a minute cheers guys thanks a lot hey guys alan moore here on another fragrance review this weekend this is one mic one take um we've got two tobacco fragrances today to show you these are new additions to my collection and then it's the first time they've been reviewed as such on these fragrances. And so I'm going to give you an overall, you know, uh, smell on these fragrances. Now, the trouble with these fragrances about shade today, guys, if you were to look on not you know, uh, fragrance, fragrantica, sometimes you can't get the notes of these fragrances that have come from the Middle East. And these have both come from the Middle East. And fantastic fragrances, both tobacco fragrances, and they're both different. The one which I'll show you first is based on famous Tom Ford one now, what we all know by now, if, uh, tobacco of an A. And it smells like it's in the bottle, looks very similar, how they start to style, style the bottle. And it is a very, you know, good tobacco fragrance. So let's share this first one first. And it's this one here. Tobacco vanilla, and this this is it's got tobacco vanilla on there. It's got Pandora scents, and it's got Cheruto is the name of the fragrance there. Look, guys, the guy looks like Castro on the front of there with his cigar. On. You know, looks like uh, a guy Castro. Okay, now there's the spray, and as you can see, even by the top look, if you look at some of the smaller Tom Ford bottles, they do come this shape. So you can tell they've tried to copy the bottle shape but make it bigger. Set the own label on it. It looks, you know, similarly inspired by the same shape bottles. And the fragrance that you get off now, you can smell the vanilla and you can smell the tobacco. And then both doing this, the main notes. And like side by side, there's not one leaning more forward or the other than both taking centre stage. And then both jostling for a position here right and he says oh you spray it on all you get is the tobacco and the vanilla you know it's there in your face and it lasts for ages this frame so if you spray it on your pulse points and your wrists your elbows if you're not wearing like a t-shirt now and uh this these fragrances are probably more associated with cooler months but as you know, people who do live in the UK, sometimes we can have cooler months in summer months, if you like. So we have like a, a cooler day, so go on for a week and it's still summer, you know. So sometimes it's warranted you can't get away with wearing some of these fragrances when it's not quite autumn and winter yet, you know, provided on how cold it feels on the day. And I have wore these a few times because we had a few cold days. Or rainy days, or whatever you want to associate it with, but they do last a long time. This one does, and again, it's got that lovely vanilla smell. Yeah, it's got the tobacco in it, it's very pungent as well, but done in a nice way. It's not off putting. Um, some people think, Oh, tobacco frame, I just smell like tobacco for. Well, this smells like the vanilla and the tobacco working together. And, you know, the many people who've done clowns of this, perfume, parlor, different people who've, like, um, Pocket Sense have done their own version of this. They're all very good. They all smell very similar to this one, actually. Uh, the Middle Eastern companies are quite good at re replicating some of the fragrances. Not all of them and smack on. You know, but then again, they get... A few of these are done done right, and this sells quite a lot of bottles. This one does. If you say it's off eBay, you just sell. People have started to collect this in their collection for a reason, you know. 
I mean, Matt said uh, that red tobacco, you know, I said the price I'd like to try one day, but every time you look a lot on discounts, a lot of the times you might get it cheap now and again if you've got the money there and then. But if you have to wait, save your money up, sometimes you pay well over £100 for the bottle of that fragrance. That was about £25. And it smells. Honestly, you guys, get your nose on it. It's fantastic for the price you're paying. You know, you get have a kid in your fragrance category if you like cash because like I can't do. You know, you could have two uh, a couple of uh, tobacco fragrances. I mean, you want to wear something different on a cooler day or when it's appropriate, like put a nice coat on, go out and just smell great with this one. Do you know what I mean? I mean, you got like in the UK, I said on a couple of videos, but it's the ideal situation. One fire night, uh, it'd be ideal. For those who live abroad, one fire night is when I tried to blow up the house of the Parliament years ago. And the guy called Guy Fawkes, and he used to get met this guy when I was a kid, and he used to go back on like, tradition for years ago. Build a big fire, like a teepee shape, with a wall, all pallets, everything, but set fire to it, and you set fireworks off. Because uh, they tried to blow up the house of the Parliament, gunpowder and everything. So this is like every tend to have that night come around every year, the fifth of November, and it's cold. And when people have got a guardian and have bonfires when they go, they have got fireworks going off all through the night. You know, so the, the, the rockets, the lowered, the, the banging all over the place, and it's all it's all through the night until like I say after twelve o'clock sometimes. Um, and they do displays at the parks, the local parks, and they have a big, massive bonfire, and everybody goes there, the local area, and they sell food there, and they sell food with their, like, what they call jacket potato in the UK. Some people might call a roasted potato inside the foil in different countries. Uh, basically, you mix a bit of butter with the jacket potato, you eat it, you eat the skin and everything, and... Uh, it's really nice in that, that occasion, and this scent profile I was just talking about. Uh, either one of these fragrances I'm showing you would be perfect. Then. You'd have a nice coat on because it'd be chilly in November, and people would be coming up to you, but you wear you smell like that, that does what you got on. And because they could smell the tobacco, and a lot of guys like their masculine notes and the vanilla. Some of the ladies there might smell the vanilla as well. Some guys all like vanilla, and you can smell it, you know. and it's something a bit more unusual than like a summer fragrance because you know, you, they got part of the year, then you wear it all different fragrances like vanilla and sweet notes in there, tonka beans, all the different stuff like that come more into play in the winter. You know, vanilla is one of the notes. So you go to the second one. Now, I had this one and I bought this. This is called Tobacco Myth. Now, I'm never around it, but for everybody who well, watches lots of videos or collects, or might have the original, Carolina Herrera made a bottle just like this before this came out. And it looks exactly the same as that, apart from they've changed the name. And the cap obviously is different. Right, but this is a dead copy of that basic, based on the bottle just alone. I can't say what the fragrance smell like. I've never owned it. But this is a. Cheap fragrance again from off eBay. Now, I said to you, I try to locate these, they're not all uh, noted on uh, flagrant together and that lot. Even if you try to search for this one online, you know, I had to go onto eBay, I think, before, and you were struggling to pick notes up uh, with this. But I can give you an overall smell what it smells like. This is different to that. This is spicy. It's got a spiciness to it, not a, a vanilla spice, not sweet. It's got sweetness in it, but it's got um, a, a, a dry fruit smell with it, mixed in with the tobacco, right? Mixed in with the spices. And the only thing I can put my imagination to when I was a kid, I used to go and visit your granddad or something like that. And all the, a lot of men used to smell their parties and stuff. And somebody would open a pipe up and they'd start filling the, you know, sort of leather pouch full of the, the tobacco and they'd fill it up and they'd set fire to it. And the smell of that, that when you first started smelling it, that's what it reminds you of. You know what I mean? It's that pipe tobacco smell. And it's got like a, 
it used to be a dram, a dram tobacco, I think it was. I know I don't smoke, but for people I was seeing them put it in the pipes and stuff. I think it was called dram, I think it was. And it reminds me of a smell similar to that. So if you, you can imagine that, that, that's what you get from this fragrance. It's different from the other one. And I say it's a totally different smell altogether, guys. And it is nice. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's got this masculinity about this one. More so than the other one. The other one's more um, built to, for the masses, to please the masses. You see, based on Tom Ford fragrance. So he tries to sell a lot of bottles. But this one, they try to do the same thing, but it's a cheaper way of doing it. With the same, 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 same profile. And the same with this. You know, it's a cheaper fragrance. There's no two ways about it. But I wanted two different tobacco fragrances in my collection. I could have had red uh, tobacco from Mastera, and I could have had perfume de Marley. I think it's arid, I think it is the other one. And it smells like tobacco. It could be wrong because they're a bit at my price range. I now perfume de Marley do one, uh, you know, uh, to rival Mastera red tobacco. Anyway, this is, they make my price range. These do with me my price range. And now I have two scent, different scent tobacco fragrances that I could drop this winter. And I'm going to wear these, a hell out of these this winter. Because I do like both of the fragrances. I can smell it on my hands. Now it's gone onto the cap and I sprayed it just, and it just smells so masculine. And I mean, I'm not a smoker. Do you know what I mean? So, but the, the smell of tobacco, you can't help but get captivated by it because we've smelt it most of the way through our lives when people have been lighting pipes up and stuff like that. So the scent memory going back from things like that. So from my point of view, these two fragrances, all the other cheap fragrances, guys, you could pick these up, stick them in your collection, and you'd have two good tobacco fragrances to see you through the winter. You know, if you want to wear something different, you've got two different types there. And they're still coming with affordability. And I mentioned on the last video, I didn't just before this one. I don't know about the country where you may live if you don't live in the UK. But come from next year, this country may be in a recession. And so people are going to be not spending as much money on expensive fragrances. Unless you've got the, the funds to do so, obviously. Most people will either not buy fragrance or will be buying something more affordable and these two come under affordability for 20 odd pounds you could get a probably you know when you save for that you could probably get it and buy yourself a couple of them and you'd see it all through the winter you wouldn't be disappointed and you'd have two good tobacco fragrances to go on with okay guys so that's the end of the video for today thanks for sticking with me and listening to rabbit on about these two fragrances but Best you got all the other two different types of fragrances there, but still bring you quality for tobacco fragrances. So have a great week, and I'll see you on the next video, guys. Thanks for your constant support. I do appreciate it. And as I say, please get people to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. If you can tell your friends about it, I'll try my best to give you, you know, the best videos I can in my own style. You know, and as I said, it, it's unedited. If I make a mistake through speech or different stuff like that, or I make a, you know, a blooper or something in there, it stays in. You know what I mean? And I don't take it out. Because when I show you guys, it's just as raw as form. And I love that. And I'm really enjoying the videos that I'm putting out. I look back and sometimes they're not getting the most views and different stuff like that. But I'm enjoying myself, putting myself out there, spreading the word and love for these fragrances I've got. Hopefully it'll impress you guys and you guys will maybe purchase one of these and you'll see what all the fuss is about. So that's it from me, Alan, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, guys. Thanks a lot.